Hello and welcome back to Talk of the Town. As promised, we're going to check in with our news partner. We're joined by a familiar face, Jason Haifman with Project Home. Thanks so much for being with us. Thanks for having me again, Jessa. Glad to have you. And you've brought a guest today. This is Amy Barrio with Madison Water Utility. Thanks for being with us today. Thanks for having me. So I'm glad to chat a little bit about the, some of the programs that you have. So many things that you guys are doing. But we're talking today about the Home Water Conservation Program. And I want to talk a little bit about how you started this and also when. Yeah, so it really started with a connection with the water utility. Back in 2016, we officially launched the program. And it was, uh, it was something, you know, the utility was looking to reach out within the low to moderate income customer base. Mm -hmm. We wanted to do more water conservation. We do so much energy conservation, but not on the water side as much. So it was a great partnership where we could do more. And Amy, why is this important to you to really create this initiative and you're assisting low to moderate income customers, an important thing that you're doing? Well, you know, we had this very successful toilet rebate program where um, people could get a $100 rebate for replacing an old toilet with a water efficient one. And that was great. But, um, you know, we would get calls from people who had problems with toilets, big leaks, and they couldn't do anything about it. They couldn't afford to replace it. Um, the thing that really, I think, got us thinking about it was one day we got a call from uh, a homeowner who was very elderly. She had um, a really bad running toilet. She was wasting hundreds of gallons of water an hour. She had a big bill, water and sewer, everything just getting wasted. And so our building department said, well, why don't you take advantage of our toilet rebate program and replace that? And she said, you know, I can't afford to do that. I can't you know, have a plumber come in here and replace that toilet, what am I supposed to do? And we didn't have an answer for her. Um, and so she since passed away and was um, never able to get help through our toilet re rebate program. But um, it really um, made us think about how do we reach people who are maybe shut-ins, who are very elderly, who may be seeing their toilets, you know, wasting water and money and be totally unable to do anything about that. And thank goodness there's a place like Project Home that can really help us reach some of these people. So we reached out to Project Home. They were great. Um, they helped us set up this program, the first of its kind in the state, and helped us really reach those people who could benefit from some of these really easy things. Wow, it's a sad story, but it really highlights the need and you were able to kind of connect the dots to, to create and help help some of these people that might be in a similar situation. Mm -hmm. Jason, how many homes and, and people do you think you've helped so far? Yeah, so we've, we've helped over 200 people through the, the program already. And that was kind of our goal to, to try to get, you know, in about 50 households a year. And we've already, we've met that goal each year. We're kind of on pace again this year. Um, <clears throat> but the, the residual effect is, is really important. It's for those individuals, um, but it's on their water bills. And one thing that Amy mentioned too, is I'm, I've been surprised a little bit by how many low-income people have been able to reach. We, it's for homeowners, this program, and it's a low to moderate program, but 72% uh, of the individuals we've helped have been at 50% of the county median income or below. So that's pretty, pretty low-income folks that we're helping. Wow, that's yeah. significant. And mm -hmm. Amy, to your perspective, what's the estimated impact from the water utility side? Right, well, you know, for us, um, I talk a lot about conservation, and it's real easy for me to say, well, replace your shower heads, or replace your toilet, or replace your faucet if it's dripping, and, and you know, really save water. But there are people out there who are not gonna be able to do those things. And so for us, it's not about big numbers, big millions of gallons in water savings. It's about reaching those people, because everybody who wants to conserve should be able to. Yeah. So that's what Project Home helps us do. And you have a toilet rebate program for folks who don't qualify for the income-based program as well? Right. So since 2009, we've offered um, rebates for people who replace an old, maybe five-gallon of flush toilet with a water-efficient, um, high-efficiency, EPA-rated toilet. So we've replaced more than 14,000 toilets wow. since 2009 through that program, saved more than a half billion gallons of water. Incredible. Um, and we estimate that cu customers have saved more than $2.6 million in water and sewer costs just from that uh, program alone. And then further, if you think about that, um, you know, it takes a lot of energy for us to kind of pump and send water throughout the city. So just in terms of 
of energy. We've saved enough energy to power 130 Madison homes for a year. Wow. So that one program alone, and we're just talking about toilets, but <laughs> toilets can have a big impact. So making that one decision to replace a toilet um, ends up being good for everybody. Wow, that's pretty incredible. Uh, real quick, we got to head to break, but Jason, I want to find out if how do people know if they're eligible for these either one of these programs? Sure, uh, they can go to our website, projecthomewi.org. There's information on there. There's also links to the utilities website too, where you can find out information directly about the toilet rebate program in case you don't qualify for our program with them. Excellent, great yes. information. Jason and Amy, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks, Jessa. Thanks for watching Talk of the Town. We've got more for you coming up after the break.